Hello, um, welcome back to my pregnancy vlog. So I just wanna put it out there that I have filmed many pregnancy vlogs since my last one. Unfortunately, they just never went up. I think I've done about three of them. And I decided I'm just gonna make one that does not need to be edited, that does not need to be messed with or tampered with in any way. That way I can just talk to you guys and kind of communicate what I've been going through through my pregnancy and actually post it. <laughs> I've had a lot of things to say and I really, are you, you can walk by. That's my husband, Carlos. <laughs> the one who hasn't put the vlogs up. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> but I figured I would just make this easy and, and <laughs> just go for it. Um, I'm trying to think if there were things that I spoke about in the vlogs that I never put up that I'd want to talk about now. I mean, there's so many subjects to kind of touch on. Um, I will just talk about things that have been happening, I think, recently, and then after that, I can backtrack, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, recently, I have been feeling so many little kicks. Um, we announced it on our vlog and our and our uh, Instagrams and whatnot, but for this pregnancy vlog, we are having a little boy, which I'm very excited about, and his name is Ocean, and it's been crazy because I feel like I know him. Now, that's actually something I really want to talk about. I even wrote it down, and I wrote, I wrote down, feeling that connection with your baby. Um, you have all of these different sites and blogs about these ladies talking about being pregnant and it's the greatest feeling that they've ever experienced and that's awesome. But for the longest time, I didn't feel that. Like I was really, really excited for this baby, but I definitely didn't feel that connection. And I kind of felt like, okay, well, is something wrong with me? I would try to like force a feeling that just kind of wasn't, happening and if that's something that you might have gone through or that you're going through as well know that you're not alone in that um i couldn't be happier to be like bringing in this beautiful little boy into the world but it wasn't until truly the last couple weeks that i really feel like i have bonded with my baby and it feels like real i mean you know you're pregnant throughout all these months but there's this kind of feeling of like well, you know, he or she isn't here yet, so it, it doesn't necessarily feel like something you can, I don't know if that makes sense, like something you can grab, it doesn't feel tangible, even though like it's a legit child growing inside of you. Um, but within the last couple of weeks, especially the more movement I f like feel from him, all these little kicks, like this morning even, I feel like I know his personality in the strangest way. Um, I was just laying there and he wasn't doing anything. Um, I, I just think, I just assumed like, oh, he's probably sleeping. And I put my hands on my tummy and he just like started kicking them. And then I took them off and he stayed still. And then I like put it back and he'd kick the exact spot. So I kind of started moving my hands around, like playing game with them. And he would chase me around the tummy, just like kicking and poking and like little limbs would pop up. And it was just so fun and cool. And I really felt like I was playing with my son, which is the weirdest thing to say, but it was so beautiful. Um, so I want to put that out there that you, I believe that you will eventually feel that connection with your baby. I think for some people who get to feel that right away, that's amazing. But for others, don't feel like you have to force it. Don't feel like you're crazy or weird. Sometimes it just takes little moments or little experiences that just kind of bond you. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how, that's what I feel on bonding with your baby. Um, Another thing that happened actually last night, um, I had to go to the restroom really, really badly. That's the one thing, like I'm peeing like crazy. I thought that that ship would be long gone, but no, I still have to pee quite frequently. Um, and last night I finally told Carlos, I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to make it all the way upstairs to our room. I have to go to the bathroom right now. So I ran to the restroom and before I could get my pants down, I, I sneezed and 
I completely peed myself. Like, <laughs> I mean, I still had some left, so I was able to sit down and finish peeing, but I didn't, like, I peed myself, and it's embarrassing and weird and awkward, but that happens. <laughs> so, yeah, it is still weird, but know that you're not alone in that either, and I hope I'm not alone. <laughs> um, but I have heard of that happening, so, um, yeah, that was embarrassing, and I think I really freaked Carlos out. Are you okay? It did not freak me out. Are you scarred? Nope. Not at I, all. I think one thing that did scar you a little was when we woke up and there were these big leak marks all over the bed from my boobies. <laughs> all the colostrum has been leaking. And if you're leaking early on, it usually is a sign of healthy milk flow and that um, your milk will flow very, very well once you deliver your baby. So I'm really excited about that because I want to breastfeed. Um, I have just, I'm not a, I'm not a research person. I usually like to go by experience. I've seen my mom like have so many children, just in general on anything. Like even if I get a new car, I don't like read the manual or anything. My husband loves researching. He researches everything. He like reads like the manuals, every, like he loves that. Um, I've never been that kind of person. And when I read all these moms like, talking about all the things you have to do for your baby, it's kind of overwhelming for me just because I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, we didn't have these kind of manuals for your kid back in the day. So what did, what did people do? I mean, everything you do nowadays is wrong. Like, you can't do this, you can't eat that. Um, like, basically, they wanna put you in a plastic bubble and wait for you to deliver your child. And you know what, that's fine. I'm sure that's really safe. <laughs> um, but I just wanna tell everybody to not get carried away with that because you are still living your life. I'm still here with my husband and we're enjoying every moment together. We're trying not to live in fear at all um, just because it's silly to get worked up and overwhelmed. I mean, if you Google something, if you Google, you know, why am I feeling this way or what's this ache in my arm or whatever, usually the result is you're dying. Um, so be really careful when Googling and doing your research because a lot of times they will contradict each other. I think one site was saying you need to really load up on carbs now that you're pregnant. Another side was like, do not eat any carbs at all. It's really bad. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna go with what I'm craving. And clearly my body is craving certain things for a reason, so deal with your cravings, obviously in a healthy, good way, but um, don't don't over, not, not like don't learn too much, but um, don't become too crazy about it all. You, there's no need to be overwhelmed, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Um, what else do I have on here? Um, so I talked about preparing, things that I need. Oh, something that I thought was really cool. So. I'm still learning, I don't really know exactly what we're gonna do or when we're gonna do this, but I'm really interested in co-sleeping, um, especially with an infant. I feel like, gosh, early on, I mean, from when my baby, he's just inside me now and he's so close to me, I just feel like it would be so, for me personally, like the, whatever you do on your own, that has to feel right in your heart, but for us, I really feel like the right thing to do would be to co-sleep and have the baby in the bed with us or literally just like right next to us in one of those side-by-side -side bassinet bed things. I don't even know what they're called. Um, because I just feel like the baby is so new and we're new parents that to put my child all the way in the other room would just seem so strange for me early on. I understand that later on, especially for like marital purposes, for sleeping purposes, for everybody, for the baby, just to kind of create good healthy boundaries in general. I think that's great, but earlier on they're just so little that I kind of want him right there in a way. Like I feel like I'm almost protecting him having him there, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, what else? What else? I have things on my list that I need to buy. Um, will you guys tell me what breast pump I should buy? Because I know I'm definitely gonna need to pump and freeze stuff um, in case Carlos has to watch him, if I'm working or doing anything. I really plan on breastfeeding, so I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, if there are things that you guys 
are loving like items that you use all the time whether it's a brand of wet wipes or um uh, disposable diapers or uh, reusable diaper like what tell me fill me in I need to know and I want to read about it and then I want to share it with everybody um, I'm trying to think if there's really anything else I have a lot more energy in this trimester I feel really good <laughs> I'm able to work out which has been great without over exhausting myself really finding a good happy medium um, and I really feel like he's just been been growing a lot. I know he's measuring, I think like a week ahead or two weeks ahead, something like that. So yeah, it's exciting. I just don't want him to be too big because he still has to come out of me somehow. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited. Currently the plan is to still have a um, natural birth, but I am not forcing anything. If on the day I decide I want an epidural or I want a natural birth or I want to deliver the baby in some weird crazy, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel on the day. So I don't want to set anything in stone. I want to just be very open-minded about it all. Um, but the one thing my doctor said that he really encourages um, is that at the hospital they have these baths because for a minute there we were thinking about a water birth but um i think we're kind of leaning away from that but my doctor was saying to get in the bath before you deliver the baby just because it really calms your nerves it really calms just kind of everything it just kind of gives a very peaceful feeling and i really like that idea so thank you dr crane i think that'll be awesome um baby Yo. do you have anything that we've talked about that you think i should say Nada. He's probably like, oh my gosh, I've heard all this a hundred times. <laughs> I think it's kind of hard for husbands because they don't get to experience what we're experiencing. And for Carlos, and I think a lot of men feel this way. I mean, not all of them, but I've heard this um, from a few different people. Um, it's kind of not, I wouldn't say scary or creepy, but the, the idea of this baby this human living inside of us kind of freaks them out it's a little overwhelming for them so i mean every time ocean is moving and i'll put carlos's hand on my belly so that he can feel him he's kind of like <laughs> like he likes it but it's also really weird so just know like they have no idea what it feels like we totally have to be respectful of how they feel and don't feel bad about it i, I mean he can't he can't understand this feeling that i'm having um but he'll understand when the baby comes out and it'll be really good. Um, but yeah, I think that's all. I think that's all I have. I should go back and see if I have any of my old vlogs. Should I still post them? I might. I mean, they were way back feelings, but it might be nice to no, just put start, up. Start from scratch, start from now. Start from scratch, start, but I made some really good points earlier on. Yeah, but you can make new ones. Imagine like doing all old vlogs. Like, no, new, fresh, current. Carlos said no. Nope. New, fresh, current. Okay. We'll never see any of that footage. I'm so sorry. But when I get back home, I will show you guys kind of how the nursery is going, um, our ideas for the nursery, and um, all the cute baby clothes. Oh, by the way, when... I'm sorry. I just keep going. I keep talking. You're going to have to cut me off. Um, I went on... What was it? My friend... Chris, she was telling me, she's a cute little baby, she was telling me about H&M baby clothes and how they're super cute, adorable. I even ordered like a little bear suit thing for Ocean. It was awesome. So definitely check them out because they're great. Oh, what is a good breastfeeding bra? I need to find a really good, I think I have that on my list. Um, yeah, nursing bra. I need nursing bras what brand, where should I buy them, tell me, fill me in, and then we'll talk about it. I'm gonna cut this off because we're at about 15 minutes now, but um, thank you guys, I love you guys. Uh, congratulations if you are expecting, and um, God bless you. It's a beautiful little miracle.